All right, today I want to talk about a little product which I find absolutely fantastic. It's called a hip stick. Now, very clever little piece of engineering this. Essentially what a hip stick is, is a device to help support your metal detector. As you can imagine, these metal detectors aren't light. And the thing about it is, where the biggest restriction on a machine is, a detector, is the actual coil because they physically have to have quite a lot of copper wire inside them which weighs quite a bit of weight. Now there's no point if you have this massive amount of weight in a coil and up to a kilo or more in some instances if you're not counterbalanced by the weight of the detector. The two need to be in balance so it's all well and good trying to cut down on the weight of the control box but the coil is always going to be a dictating factor with regards to the overall weight of the machine. So what we need to do we're basically stuck. I, I love the balance of the mine lab machines. I think that you probably can't get a better system than what's available with these things because the two counteract each other. The weight of the control box counteracts the weight of the um, of the um, the coil. Now we'll show you one thing here. With the GPX 4500, you'll notice that there's no longer got those little tags on the top of the uh, the end caps there what they call the strain relief uh, holders before where you used to be able to put your power lead into. My lab have removed those and I've done that for a reason because the GPX 4500 has one less board inside of it so it's actually a much lighter machine. It's probably about 120 grams lighter. Now because of that you actually need to run the control box further back along the stem. So my lab have removed those little holders there on either end so you can run the control box further back to get your centre of balance correct. So, we, aren't, we can't get away from the fact that this detector weighs quite a lot. And that weight has to be suspended from somewhere. Now traditionally in the past, what we do, the mine lab machines come with a bungee strap, but I like to use my own variety of it, but everybody's got a different method. But traditionally what we do is we just hook the bungee strap up onto the D-ring of your harness, and away you go. Now the thing about it is, all that weight is suspended off your shoulder. That tends to pull you down one side like this, and quite often my wife will give me a hard time, Frida will give me a hard time because she says from behind my posture looks really bad because I'm leaning to one side. I actually have this lean up because of the weight of the detector. So it's not good for your posture. But the other problem is that I have, um, because of the amount of detecting I've done over the years, I actually have quite sore shoulders now. I have shoulder problems because I've been swinging big coils for a long time plus digging huge holes. So along came this product called the hip stick. Now, basically all the hip stick is, is two parts. It's the shaft, and that shaft is available in different lengths depending on your body size. At the top of that shaft, there's a little strap. And on that strap, it's got a clip and a D-ring. Now that's pretty obvious where that would go. The clip part of it just clips here on your shoulder like so, so now that's attached to your body and that D-ring is where you attach your bungee strap. But on the bottom of the shaft there's this little ball. Now that ball is quite clever in its design because it also the hip stick comes with this little device here and it's pretty self-evident that, that ball goes into there like a ball and socket joint. So the idea of it is that you clip this piece onto your belt, onto a utility belt, the ball part of it goes into here this part goes to your shoulder. When you put the weight of detector onto this shaft, it transfers all the weight down the shaft onto your hips where you have this little attachment assembly here where the ball sits. And that ball obviously is to allow for movement, so it gives you articulation. The beautiful thing about it is now is instead of having all the weight on your shoulder, now all the weight's transferred straight down to your hips. Basically it acts like your spinal column because that's exactly what your spinal cord does all the weight of your upper body is transferred down the center of your spinal cord until it hits, in this instance, it hits your, it's your pelvis, or in this instance it hits this little device here and then spreads the load out evenly between your two legs. So it's quite a good concept and very simple to use and it takes a huge amount of weight off your shoulder. I've now got ladies using these things and they're swinging 18 inch coils all day without a problem because the weight is now distributed evenly across your body and, and where it's supposed to be, just like your spinal cord but absolutely fantastic little device. And what I'm going to do here now, I'll just show you how I set it up. This is my utility belt. I just buy a uh, army surplus uh, webbing belt.
clip that on. Okay, now the, the lower part of the assembly, that just simply, I, I put it inside the webbing where the two join. Now you want it, you don't want it actually on your side of your hip, you want it sort of slightly forward of your hip, so if you're facing this way, on that sort of an angle, so not directly off the side of your hip, a little bit slightly forward. It's got quite a large little rubber pad on there that spreads the load out over your hips so that it, where it presses up against your side, it doesn't cause you any pain. Then it's just a simple matter, hip stick part of it. The, the, uh, the low assembly comes with a little um, elastic band type arrangement that just holds the shaft in place so it doesn't fall out. Then it's just a simple matter of clipping the upper clip onto your D-ring. And then hooking your bungee cord up to the D-ring of the hip stick. And there we go. Now you can see how that part moves around while you're detecting. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. But all that weight now, once I get it positioned correctly, all that weight now is actually distributed straight off my hips. When I first used this setup, I took me probably about an hour, hour and a half to get, get the feel of it because you've got to relearn how to guide your core now. Now you're not sort of carrying the core so much, you're actually uh, just guiding the coil and letting letting the stick take the weight. But where I really noticed it is when I took the hip stick off and re-hooked back up to my shoulder again. And I thought, wow, straight away that's when you realise the difference in the weight distribution because you no longer have that weight on your shoulders, and it's surprising just how how quickly you uh, you forget. <laughs> that's for sure. But that's assembly there like that. The whole thing runs nicely. Now I'm a pretty tall sort of fella, I'm nearly six foot one. There's three sizes in these, small, medium, large. The best way to work out what's the best size for you is measure from your, from your belt position, about on your hip, up to your top of your shoulder, and then deduct two inches. And that two inches will give you the approximation. So if I'm, in my case here, I'm about 22 inches from my hip to my shoulder. So two inches off, this is a 20 inch hip stick. If you're, um, if you're um, 18 inches, then you go for the 16 hip stick. If you're 20 inches, then you go for the 18. So there's a 16, 18, and 20 inch in size. Basically, ladies mainly go for the 16. Uh, guys sort of from uh, 5 foot 10 through to 5 foot 11, 6 foot, they go the medium size, which is the 18 inch. And then guys over 6 foot tend to go for the large size, which is the 20 inch. But it's a fantastic little product. I can swing a large coil all day, even the smaller double Ds. Even the 11 inch, I, I leave the hip stick on. And uh, it just does make so much more improvement to your general comfort. The other thing is too, I find now that I have much better core control and with a mono core, especially with the GPX 4500 where we're trying to take advantage of the enhanced timings as much as possible, stable, steady, smooth core swing is crucial to good performance. The better you can swing your core, the more consistent you can keep that core in relation to the ground surface. So if you can get your core dead level, and also at a consistent height from the ground, the better performance you're gonna get from the machine. And I find the hip stick really does help with that. It gives me a much better control over my coil. And of course, the smoother you can swing it and the more accurate the speed and the height from the ground, the better performance you're gonna get overall from the detector.